Hi guys, today I want to show you our new GPT chat with maps. I'm really excited that it's very useful tool for people who are traveling and that is some kind of a bridge between maps that are existing out there and OpenAI. I will share you the link in the description box below so that it's super easy for you to find this particular GPT. And I think we are ready to jump in right into that. As always, it's super easy to use. However, in the very beginning, I would really recommend to ask the chat, what are the features of chat with maps? So let's proceed with that as our first step of getting to know this particular tool. What are the features of chat with maps? And just like that, we already know all the features and capabilities of this particular tool. I also recommend from time to time to double check because we do update our tools and uh, that could be really useful for you to widen the horizons of the features that uh, could be useful for your everyday life. So here you can see and infer from the context, as I mentioned before, that is some kind of a bridge between OpenAI and Google Maps and that makes your research for traveling much, much easier. So you don't need to spend horrendous amount of time for research and what to do in the city. You can actually go out there and experience everything that our chat will compose for you with great recommendations. Let's imagine we are going to London and what we want to have is um, a list of five uh, modern art galleries in London. And just like that, we're going to have the list of galleries we can attend to. We just click confirm right here. And we're going to have the list of places we can visit without wasting time on research. Of course, there is some very typical recommendations, some of them are less known. If you keep prompting or you prompt something less known, for sure you will get the results that you're looking for. Another trick that I really love to do is to actually compose the plan for the whole day. So let's say I have a day in week Hackney, uh, Hackney, what should I do? And just like that, we usually have a list of activities and a whole agenda for the day. So it doesn't give you just tourist attractions and what you need to see in there. It also gives you breakfast and gives you walk-in tours. It gives you the places and art studios to visit. I think that is a great thing for people who are really want to know what to do during this day but they don't want to spend all of that just planning things out because i know there are some planning phrase that love that however it will ease the life of people who just want to experience stuff not spend days and days of researching and the last thing that i wanted to show is for example we change the area let's say we're in south london right now we want to a list of five ethiopian places sometimes it's a bit more complicated to look for particular cuisine in an area. However, with this tool, it makes it super easy. We just click here to confirm. And as always, we will just receive the list of places with address. So it's super easy for us to find it, to go there or book a table. I believe that is a great tool for people who are traveling or vice versa. If you have friends visiting and you're actually living in the city and you seem to know everything about it, but you need to uh, find places that are interesting for people who are visiting. I think that is a great tool to save your time researching places. I really think that could be a life saver for you. I hope this tutorial was useful and in case you run into any problems with the tool, please feel free to contact our support team. There will be an email in the description box below and have a great day guys. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.